these KTM heads leave a lot to be desired from a design standpoint. Um, you know, we've talked about in the past, but they don't have a lot of downdraft to them. They're very, very, if you look at the, the height of this here where the uh, cylinder is to the floor of the port, there's only about an inch there, not even an inch. So it's very challenging to get the air to turn because you have to turn it very far. Whereas if the port rotates up and comes down, you have less turn. So this is something that KTM doesn't mind because the 450s make so much power as it is. They don't really need a highly advanced port, uh, say like the 250s do. But the other thing that's interesting on these heads, these exhaust ports got changed in 19, I believe it was, when they did a generational update and they downturn really heavily. Previous generation head doesn't do this nearly as much. It comes down out and down a little bit, but nowhere near this. This is a huge negative for performance. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. You're not going to be able to change it. They did change the port from this generation from the previous generation. Uh, it got a little bit bigger. All right, let's get to it. The very unfun part of engine building is actually doing work. So I'm just going to rough this up. They're not even. The whole goal is to get a very nice rough surface so that we can get good epoxy adhesion. which is where we're going to add it. So this is how I like to prep my ports. Um, the head has been blasted. We've now roughed it up with a rough carbide burr. And then I'm going to hit it with some acetone. This is not a sink, so just be clear. It looks like a sink. It is a sink, but it doesn't. it's not connected to water drain or normal drain or anything like that. We actually have a bucket. We capture, this is an oil drain tank. Uh, we capture oil in here. So I hit it with some acetone. Let that dry a little bit. And then I hit it with a torch. And um, my goal with the torch is to heat the port. I, I literally, I call it sweating. Sweating the port. And you'll actually see sometimes you actually sweat the port. Things come out of it. It's very interesting to me. So uh, we're trying to get any crap out of the port, any material that's in there, any oil, any gas, I guess coolant, anything that's in there. And we gotta get that out so we can get really good epoxy adhesion. Epoxy is a little bit risky, a little bit dangerous because of the fact that it doesn't stay forever. It does break down to fuel, etc., etc. So we've worked over the years and I've just found what I like, um, what I like to use, how I like to do it, how we like to print. First try, that's lucky. This is the worst torch tip on the planet. So obviously be careful. We just put acetone in it. It could light on fire. You never know. So proper PPE is recommended. Epoxy mixed up.
As you can see, we're right at 70 horse by going with Pro 6 from Pump Gas. And there it is. That's the difference between Pump Gas and Pro 6 on this motor. We still have a little bit more optimizing to go, but we're <laughs>